hello guys welcome back to my channel if you are older thanks and if you are new here please can let subscribe and turn on the notification bell to get notified anytime i upload a new video in this tutorial i'm going to show you how to design a church flyer using adobe photoshop so without any further ado let's get started So the first thing go to the file in the menu here select new then and over here i'm going to use 1080 by 1080 pesos then leave your resolution at 300 then for printing change it to cmyk color mode then and if it is for social media then you leave it at rgb color mode then click on grid so this is our working background now so what i'm going to do now then I'm going to copy the S code I'm going to use for the background color. So over here, I'm going to copy it, Ctrl plus C to copy. Then go to your fifth color, select solid color. And I'm going to paste it, Ctrl plus V to paste. Then now we are going to bring our resource file. Then go to your document here, and I'm going to import this background over here. Then scale it down. Then go to your filter, select blur, Gaussian blur. And over here, then I'm going to blur this one by 10%. Then I'm going to click OK. So then now change the blending mode then to hard light. So I change it to soft light. Then let me see how it's going to look. Now the second one, then go back to your resource file and I'm going to import this one over here. Then we have to scale it out like this. Then click OK to apply it. And we are going to change the blending mode, soft lights. Then we are going to our filter, blur, Gaussian blur. And this one, I'm going to blow it by 8%. Okay, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to leave this one to be normal. Then, and this one, I'm going to leave it soft light. So let it be like this. Then the next, I'm going to my resource file and import this background over here. Then I'm going to Take this one up here. Something like this is okay. Then go to your filter, select your blow, Gaussian blow, and I'm going to make it by 5%. Something like this. Then apply your layer mask. Then select your gradient to over here. Then make sure that over here is black and white. Then we are going to blend this particular area okay so having done that so the next thing we are going to draw a rent angle at the bottom here something like this okay so having done this one then we are going to bring our test now so the first thing I'm going to do is to copy this one, Ctrl plus C to copy. Then I'm going to import the church logo. Then before importing church logo, I'm going to create a rent angle. Something like this. Then and apply a shape to it something like this now i will take it up here then import the church logo now reduce the size position it over here then i'm going to reduce the size of this one I 
okay so like this then select your test to now you can use t on the keyboard then ctrl plus v to paste reduce the font size and position it over here then we are going to duplicate this one ctrl plus j to duplicate or you can drag it over here then to make a duplicate of it then i'll position it at the center then select your test tool then go to select on the menu over here then to select all then go back to your test document and make a copy of this one then ctrl plus v to paste now we are going to apply a drop shadow to that test there then go to your blending option and select drop shadow now i'm going to make this opacity 86 percent then change the distance to three percent and the size to three percent then click ok to apply it okay so we have this and the next one then i'm going to adjust it bring it down this way it's okay over there then the next thing i'm going to duplicate it ctrl plus j to duplicate or you can drag it down over here to make a duplicate of it then i'm going to place it over here and i'm going to select my test tool or you use t on your keyboard and for test tool then go back to select on the menu here and select all or you press ctrl plus a to select then make a copy of this ctrl plus c to copy and ctrl plus v to paste so now we are going to change the font to bebas then i'm going to use this bebas new board so now i'm going to increase the size of the fonts something like this then go to back to select select all and apply vertical alignment to centralize the test then go back to select and there you deselect it or ctrl plus d that is the shortcut now i'm going to copy this one ctrl plus j to duplicate it then bring it down this way then select your test again and now i'm going to change this one to the font to railway then make it bold we are going to change the font to this yellow color like this and then the next thing we are going to alight it ctrl plus a to alight why we are going to copy this one over here ctrl plus c to copy then ctrl plus v to paste then now we are going to reduce the fonts now make it around 15 percent then centralize the alignment position it over here at the center then and increase the font size something like this is okay then the next i'm going to select all Then apply vertical alignment to centralize it
and control plus D to deselect. So having done that one, then the next I'm going to copy this one. Control plus C to copy. In. Then select your test tool. Control plus V to paste. Then change the font to white. Then, and I'm going coming back behind over here to greet a rent angle. Then change the color to red. I will adjust it. Something like this should be okay. All right. Then I'm going to select the tool and reduce the size while I drag it around here for now. Then I'm going to copy my test again. Then select this one and copy it. Then select your test tool. Control plus V to paste. Increase the size. And we are going to change the font to open sans then make it bold then the character spacing we are going to apply minus 60 percent something like this then position it around here then why we are going to select this rectangle and this one then select it while we adjust it over here. Okay, so having done this one now, we are going to apply a test layer style on this. Then go to your blending option. Then select bevel and emboss. And over here, we are going to make use of this setting. You are seeing here so then at the style here is bevel and above so then and this one is smooth then the depth is 115 then the size is 10 so and the contour here we use this is the contour we are going to use over there now come to the drop shadow and we are going to make it 100 percent then the distance make it six then leave the spread at four and the size then six something like this then it's okay now we are going to apply it all right so then the next thing we are going to do then we are going to also select this one then and we are going to apply a drop shadow to it so the drop shadow we are going to, we are using before so we are going to adjust it because we duplicate it from present okay so now this one we are going to adjust it to six percent and the size is percent then you leave the opacity at 86 then you click ok to apply it so the same thing we are going to do to conference select the drop shadow and make the adjustment six and over here six so this is the outcome of it okay so the next thing we are going to do now we are going back to our resource file and uh, upload this one import this one i mean reduce the size and position it over here this way then you can increase it a little more 
okay now we are going to apply our layer mask and select the gradient to why we blend the top here something like this it's okay and you will have this now select this orange and go over here apply your layer mask then select your gradient to and blend over here to remove the line that is appearing there okay so this is okay and we are going to leave it this way like this so having done this now so the next we are going to do now then we are going to import this one over here reduce it then go to image go to adjustment select hue and saturation and drag this one over here to change the background color to white and now we are going to our test document then we are going to make a copy of this one ctrl plus c to copy then why we select our test tool i'm going to change the alignment to left alignment then ctrl plus v to paste then we are going to change the font to a vertical also change the font color to red then now we are going to increase the size and position it over here then i'm going to apply adjustment to the crater space in there then minus 60 percent okay then go back to your document and make a copy of this one then select your test tool Ctrl plus V to paste. Change the font color to black. I'm going to move this one from here to the top. Then drag this one and position it over here. All right, so now I'm going to duplicate this one, Ctrl plus J to duplicate, and I'm going to drag it over here this way. It's okay. Then I'm going to make a duplicate of this test here as the date, Ctrl plus J to duplicate, and I'm going to drag it over here. Then take it up. In this one, I'm going to use my arrow key then to drag it up. Okay, so it's okay like this. Then we are going to adjust, adjust it, increase it to align together. So having done that now, then we are going back to this one. Then to make the adjustment, then we are going to copy this one over here. Then Ctrl plus C to copy. Select your test to align this one. Ctrl plus A to align. Then Ctrl plus V to paste. Then I like this one why we are going to reduce the fonts. Something like this. Then click OK to apply it. And we are going to reduce the size.
then go to your test to copy this one Control plus c to copy then we're going to duplicate this one Control plus j to duplicate select your test tool so we are going to alight only this one then unchange the test over there to seven then while we are going to alight this one over here and then delete it then you will have something like this okay so the last one now then we are going to make a copy of this location then why we import the location icon and reduce the size then select your test tool change your font color to black Ctrl plus V to paste then we are going to remove the character spacing to 0% then, and the spacing here we are going to reduce it so guys reduce the font size So guys, we have come to an end of this tutorial. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this tutorial, please kindly share it. And uh, so do not forget to subscribe to this channel for more video that is coming up. Thank you so much. I